Hey everyone, welcome back to another Brumon's Digi Glitch here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And we're back today with a brand new deck that's uh, one of the local decks here. It's really fun to play. It's really goofy to play. Yeah. And like, I'm super excited for it. I'm down for it. So the deck is called the Monkey King and we're playing Solid Black. That's all it is. But before we get into it, guys, I just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. Go check it out. It just takes a dollar to give us some love and support. We greatly appreciate it. Also down below in that in the Patreon, you'll see that we have like our early deck releases and all the other like cool content we have in our Patreon. So go check it out. Yep. With that, guys, let's delve into the Monkey King. So we're playing Black. So our first our baby eggs that we got, we first up have Kapurimon. He is a level two. His inherited ability is your turn. While this Digimon has reboot, it gains plus one thousand. So super so, easy. We're just playing reboot. Simple as that, and which I think is a busted mechanic in Digimon. <laughs> I hate it every time. <clears throat> the next little baby mon is a Kakin mon. When it, uh, it has a little inheritance ability when attacking once per turn, if this Digimon is level seven, gain one memory, which is pretty cute. Yep. Next up is Hagurumon. He is two drop for 3000 DP and he's got no inheritable, but he's a good, he's a zero cost of Digivolve, so he's a good level three. Yep. So next is Gatsumon, a uh, level three that's also a three drop. 300 power and of inheritance of or Digimon Digi evolution of zero, but he is a blocker and when he attacks you lose two memory, which is basically a staple of all blocking. Yeah, all the little like champion blockers they all have that just if you attack you lose two, so it is what it is. But they're pretty cool. Yeah. Next up is Toy Agumon. He is a three drop 1000 for zero Digi evolution as well, and he uh, reboot is his like inherited ability, so. It's pretty sweet just to get reboot. So if you have him yeah. and a Kapurimon, you automatically get reboot and plus 1,000. That's pretty good. Uh, the next one is a, actually a promo. It's a Karamon. It's a three drop level three, uh, two two power. And of course the, div, I cannot say that word. <laughs> Digivolve. Digivolve, I'll just say that. Cause I want to say D evolution, but that's not it. That's Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> so Digivolve, uh, zero cost as well. But yeah. the inheritance ability is your Digimon gets plus 1,000 DP. So, on your opponent's turn, so it's yeah, pretty nice. Awesome. Sounds good. Uh, next is Greymon, the Black Greymon. He is four drop, four thousand, level four. He digivolves for two, and his inherited is your turn. While this opponent, while this Digimon has reboot, it gains jamming, so you get to not Oof. worry about uh, hitting anything in their security. Yeah, you just swing in for the win all the time. Yeah, that's ridiculous. The next one, of course, is Tankmon. It's a level four, cost six. It's with six power and a one for digi. Evolve, and then that's it. Yeah, his one for Digivolve is really good because it helps you get like the security where you want or the memory where you want it to be. Yeah, and also draws your card really quick. Yeah. Next up is Kurisarimon. He is also a promo. He is a four drop level four for Digivolves for two. He's a 5,000 DP and he is a blocker and he loses two memory when you attack. So you're having an extra blocker, but it's a champion level blocker. So it's kind of nice. Yep. And this is the Monkey King right here. Uh, Edimon, it's, he's a level five, cost seven with a 6,000 DP. He digivolves for three and what he does, he's a blocker, but on deletion, reveal five cards from the top of your deck. You may play one, a level six Digimon uh, with Edimon in, in the name among them and playing without paying any memory cost. Place the remaining cards at the bottom of the deck in any order. So you just like pop out the bigger version of him. Yeah, or another one of him. So you're like, yeah, cool, yeah. I get to keep getting him and I don't care. Thanks. Pretty awesome. Uh, next is Infermon. He is a level five. He has a seven cost. He digivolves for three and he has 7,000 power. He is also one of the promos that you get for playing in tournaments. And on play, you trigger D Digivolve one. So you get to D Digivolve one of your dudes on play, which is kind of nice. So you're like, cool, that dude goes away for one level. Yeah. Thanks. Pretty awesome. Crest Guru Mon, sorry, this is a lot of text I have to zoom in here. <laughs> so it's a level six, it costs 11, but the Digivolve is four for 11 power. It has reboot, which is where you're going for. And when Digivolving, reveal one card from the top of your deck. And let's see, for each Digimon your opponent is in play, you may play one black Digimon card, level five or less among them without paying the memory for it. And then put the rest at the bottom of any order. So you get to reveal cards equal to the number of creatures your opponents have, and you're like, cool, I get a Digimon, yep. five or less. And hopefully it's an Edamon, and you're like, cool, boom. They're like, done. Now we're gonna start this combo all over again. And then next we got Metal Edamon. He's the big boy. He's the big monkey. He level six, he costs 12 to play, or three to Digivolve, and he's a 10,000 power. 
uh, your turn, this Digimon can't be blocked by your opponent's Digimon. And on your opponent's turn, he gets plus 2,000. So he's harder to kill on your opponent's turn, which is nice. And yep. on your turn, he can't be blocked. So if you have the right stack with Kapurimon that gives him, and then Toy Agumon and then the Greymon, he gets plus 1,000, reboot, and jamming. Yep. So you're like, cool, he's big on my turn. Kill your attack, kill your stack, or kill your security, you can't do anything, and yeah. you can't kill me on my turn. So unless you just have a Gaia Force or whatever, yeah. and then you're just swinging in for the win every yeah. time. The next one is Millennium Mom. So it's a level seven, cost 15, but has a Digivolve of six. 13 power, so when digivolving, return one of your opponent's Digimon to the bottom of their deck, trash all the Digi Evolution cards underneath that one, really powerful. On deletion, this card uh, had did Digi Evolution cards, you may play this card from your trash without paying its memory cost. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, so you, re you get rid of the stack if he dies and you get to keep him. Seems very powerful. Yeah, he's been pretty strong. The other level seven we're playing is Omnimon Alter S because he's good. Uh, he costs 15 and he's at 15,000, uh, but he digivolves for six. And when digivolving, you digivolve one on all of your on all of your opponent's Digimon. And if they're 5,000 of power or less, they all die. Gross. And then when attacking, you you can return a level six to your hand, or yeah, you return it and then it he's unblockable for the turn. So it's pretty nice. You're just like cool, swing 15, you can't block. And then you Thanks. get to play it again. Yeah, which is ridiculous. All right, the first spell that we have, of course, is the Infinity Cannon. It costs six. It says trigger on the evolution four on one of your opponents. Jesus. Just like trash all those top four yeah. things, which pretty much will kill one. And then security, you just activate the card's main effect. Yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't kill. It, it does just, make me sad, but yeah. it does make him go down to rookie. So you're like, cool, you big dude, go away. Just big dude. And he's just left a little tiny baby. Yeah, and then the train tamer we have is Tai Kamiya. He has a four drop, the black tie. On your turn, if your memory is two or less, it goes to three. And then on your opponent's turn, your opponent, your Digimon get all your black Digimon get plus one thousand. And security is you play. Him. So yeah. he's there to help me Metal Edelmon stay alive, and all of your dudes stay alive on your dark turn. So all your blockers get big, and you don't care. Yep. With all that reboot, it's gonna happen. I've seen this deck do really good at our locals, and it's funny because you're just like, cool, monkey man, and I'm going to kill you with a monkey, and you can't stop me. So it's yeah. pretty nice. But we're really excited to play this deck, and thank you for letting us borrow this deck and see it on the channel, and uh, we'll see you all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel, and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.